So this is a quick demonstration of how you can very quickly subset your product catalog in Facebook by niche using the Pixel Perfect app. So let's say for example we sell t-shirts uh, and we sell t-shirts for cats and t-shirts for dogs but they're all t-shirts so um, it's very difficult to, to, to kind of break that down in any other way but, but we're interested in people that like cat t-shirts and we're interested in people that like dog t-shirts. So I'm going to give you an example using my own store which sells lingerie and I have this product here called the Beauty Night Amaro Corset in Black and if I look at my product feed you can see that product right here and you can see this field here which says corset is actually the product type that gets passed over in uh, the Facebook product feed so if I go to my products uh, and I pull a product up where it says product type dress that is the field we're talking about uh, it's it's the product type field it comes from Shopify and it comes uh, right here from product type so what we're going to do is we're going to drop a tag onto this corset and there's a special tag that starts PP for your niche so I'm going to give this one PP whoops PP underscore test so I've added a tag to this product I'm going to save the product then if I go back to my feed and I refresh the feed where it says corset it should say something different so now we've got corset comma test which is the tag that I've just dropped on there. You can see it's removed the PP for me. So we've just got corset and test um, as the uh, product type field within that product. So I'm going to go and resync my product feed. Whoops, back to feeds. Uh, where are we going? Feed settings and fetch now. So this might take a minute or two. Uh, but what we need to do after we've changed our product feed in Shopify is to resync the product feed so it pulls those additional fields over. Now normally you would have the product feed set to a, a daily schedule so it would be done daily at midnight or three in the morning or whatever the, the schedule happens to be. Um, so each day those things would get dragged over anyway. So I'm just going to give this a bit of a kick just to uh, just for the purposes of the demo. Uh, now I'm just having to talk and fill while we're waiting to Facebook to validate the feed. Step three or four, we'll get in there. Uh, and what we're going to do in a second is we're going to try and create a subset, a product set of this feed that only contains the product that we've just tagged. Uh, so for dynamic product ads, uh, for retarget, given our example of cat and dog for t-shirts, we, we would only want people to see the cat t-shirts that are interested in cat and only people see the dog t-shirts that are interested in dog. So let's go ahead to product sets. We'll create a product set and we'll call that product set a test. Now bearing in mind the tag we've just dropped on here is PP test and it appears in our feed here as test. So now we're going to go down here and go product type contains test. So now we can see our tag is corset test or test. So we're just going to have test create. And it contains two products in the set because I've already got another product that, um, that I dropped that test tag on. That's it. So now in this product set, when we're creating a dynamic product ad or retarget, instead of selecting all products, we can just select the subset test. And that subset only contains the products that we drop the tag on test within Shopify. So in, in the example of t-shirts, cat t-shirts, dog t-shirts, we could dra drop a tag of cat or drop a tag of dog, create a subset for cat, um, and the subset contains cat, create a subset for dog, and the subset contains dog, um, and then when you do DPA, you just select, select the subset and apply it to the cat audience or to the dog audience, there you go. So that's a real easy way of doing it with the Pixel Perfect app. You do need the Pixel Perfect product feed in order to do this um, because the product feed picks up the tag that you drop on here. Um, you want to change the tag, you can. You want to remove it. We'll just go ahead and remove it here and save again. And then if I refresh my shopping feed, uh, it's on my product feed, you'll see this disappears in a second there. So test is gone. It's just gone back to corset. Um, and if you resync up, your um, 
product feed, those changes will be reflected in the catalog and in the product sets that you've created. It's all dynamic, so as you add products, remove products or whatever, the product set stays the same only with things that are tagged in it.